Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video, hope you're doing really well. So today is a tutorial video, we're not actually going to do a flight video, um, as you probably tell from the title. But um, I'm going to do a tutorial video on how you set custom camera views up in MSFS. I've had so many people comment over the past, I don't know, say 2-3 days, I've had like, well quite a bit of people message me and just wonder, how do you um, create custom view or custom views in MSFS and obviously I have no problem showing you all so um, it's actually a lot simpler than you think I found it I thought it was really hard hence when I never bothered until literally last week and um, yeah it's actually a lot <laughs> easier than I thought but before oh, we yes. do that um, <laughs> I sounded really messy so we're gonna go into the flight deck for starters and I've already got a custom camera set up for this aircraft so hence why I can switch through the views like this and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today so what you want to do, you want you need three buttons on your keyboard. This is the same for everyone as of 2021. So what you want to do, you want to press Control, Alt, and then your number pad. Not the numpad on the right, the numpad above the letters on your keyboard. Um, I'll show you like a screenshot of a keyboard or something. But um, yeah, so Control, Alt, and then you want to select a button or select a number you want to save that view. So let's say if I wanted to, let's change the captain views. At the moment, it's set up as this view, yeah? Say if I want to change it, or set up a new one as a co-pilot view, I'd come over to the co-pilot side, press Control, Alt, 1, yeah? So now, hang on, let's just let's go to overhead panel. Press Alt, 1 to get into that view. So you press Alt and 1 to get into the view. So you saw one I just set up. So Alt, 1, here I am. Go back to the captain side. Control, Alt, 1 to save a view or to save that view as that number. And then click Alt, 1, and I'm back. See? Simple, really simple as that. Just using three buttons and selecting what camera view you want. Now, if you want to select external views outside the aircraft, um, then that's a bit different. That's when you need to go to your CFG file, and that's how that's just how that works. Um, so to find to find the CFG file, it is different for everyone. If you've got the Steam version or the box version or the downloaded version, it's all different. So um, yeah, but we're going to show you how to find that, and it's going to be in the description below all different types of uh, registries that there could be for you, depending on what version you have. So we can't, at the moment, we can't get out of this flight deck to an outside view. What we have to do is we have to press camera, showcase, fix camera. And we have to choose cameras like this. That's the only way that we can get a um, inside view or outside, you know, um, thing of view. So we'll go back to the cockpit. And what you want to do then, let's switch back to the scene two. So what you want to do is you want to come to your folders and you want to press this PC, local disk, users, your name, then you want to go to app data, um, for me it's local, and then you want to head to packages, do 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 do, where's packages, packages, and then he met with all these random folders, just scroll down to see Microsoft Flight Simulator that one for me and then you want to click um, I believe it's the oh, what one was it was it the local cache yes it was the local cache for me and here we have all of these lovely folders inside Microsoft Flight Simulator what you want to do you want to click sim objects and airplanes now inside this folder is all the custom views I've set up for these aircraft this bit is uh, guaranteed once you set up these custom views before we go to the external view. So the moment we just set up number one um, to be the captain's view, that's that this folder showed up because you've got a custom camera view set. So obviously we're using the A330 today, so we're going to pop into A330 folder, and here we have a camera CFG file. We're going to double click this, and then here we have an, an initial XYZ part of the um, CFG file. This number you need to switch to minus five. As simple as that, just switch it to minus five. It looks like that. Then, yeah, minus five. And then press file and then save. I'm not gonna do that because I already have that. So don't save for me, but that's what you guys gotta do. And then what you wanna do, head back into your simulator. If I just quickly do this, hang on, here we are. Head back into your sim and then all of a sudden, bam, you can get outside the flight deck just by making it a minus five. Here we are, beautiful, outside. And then um, to set a custom view, exactly the same as if you was in the um, flight deck, get the view you want. If we just make a little view here, 
we're getting there. We are slowly. There we are. Get the view you want. Press Control Alt and the number that you want this um, view to be. So Control Alt seven in my case. Or was it Control? No, we we'll do Control six. Yeah, Control Alt six, and then um, once we press that, we're back at the view. So Alt six. There we are, back at the view. And then Alt one, Alt six. So then we set up two different views and that will be the same through the whole entire way. So if you want an overhead panel view, select the view you want, overhead panel, control alt 2. And now when I click alt 2, here we are. Alt 1, alt 2, alt 6. And it's as simple as that, that's all you have to do. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial video. I hope you found it helpful. I know I waffle on a bit, but you know, yeah. <laughs> I hope hopefully you found it useful. And um Yes, um, I'll see you in the next video. I'm excited to find the 8030 actually. I don't know I did it today. Obviously, it's not as in depth as like an Aerosoft 8030, but it's good enough to fly. And um, we will be departing and arriving from this airport. I'm trying to guess what airport it is. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you very shortly. Bye bye.